cross. Hello, green. It's me. Watch it. I said watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I said watch it, not watch it. This hero fellow wants to get across the bridge. Yes, I told him about the grit. Ah, yes, let's keep that between us. Just let the mustache guy through. Just get off my rug and go talk to Green at the edge of town. Watch it. Well, yeah, looks like I can finally retire because my job is done. When you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some ruins. The treasure is there. Nasty beast, too. So watch it. Oh. Looks like he has a verbal tick. Oh yeah, for, I tell if you're if you're running and you push down, you can uh do that slide. So we get a little go down another pipe into another house. Oh look, that guy looks like Luigi. Hey Luigi, it's a me, Amaro. I got a call from old man. Watch it. So you're here for you. So you're that hero guy then, huh? Right on. I'll put the bridge across for you straight away. See, his bridge is fancy. There you go. Might have asked you a question? Red or green, what's better? Both. What? Both of them? Go to spine. What you do, you can use it. Get out of my house. No matter what you pick, this happens. Boom. No matter what you pick, that happens. If you pick red, he gets ticked because you picked red. If you pick green, he calls you a liar because you're wearing red. So. Here we are at the end of the chapter. Guess what? We, what guess I would like to save? With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had thrown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the Yole Desert. Along the endless sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Chapter 1-3 The Sands of Yole Didn't old man watch it say something about there being some ruins around here? The your heart can't be far now. We better not waste any time. Okay. Come on. Yes. Oh, come on. You didn't even do the combo, Mario. Haha, -ha, wonderful. Okay, this is a speed flower. It typically speeds up time. You also earn triple points of coins while it's active. Wait. Oh crap. Zombie shroom. These are fake mush these are those are basically troll mushrooms. They will they will come out and attack you. That is a catch card. You can use it to catch enemies and get their cards if you need them. I think I'm gonna try and use it on that. Ah, bald cleft. Boom, now I can attack you. Suck it. Great, I screwed myself out of those items. Oh, wait, there's a card over there. A split card. Okay, here's the boom box for her. Come on. Haha. -ha. What it does is it when it sees you, it spots you, and uh, well, it shoots sound waves at you. It's not that annoying when there's only one of them, but then when there's more than one, it's really annoying. No, no. And yes, I know. I I played this before. I know what you're supposed to do with the red tree, but you know. I just want to show the parts where it tells you to do that thing. Aha. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to start tattling things. Oh, here we have the instance of enemies that can flip as well. See that? The Goomba flipped. 
All those Goombas flip. Ooh, Honey Jar. Honey that restores 10, 10 HP. Is there anything important over here? Got a Courage Shell that uh, ups your defense for a little bit. Okay, let's get this Boom Boxer. This Boom Boxer blasts cones of pure sound at anyone it doesn't like. HP is 4, attack is 2, it gets started by its own loud noises. What kind of music level to listen to anything that loud? I don't know, but... I really hope those things can't drive, because I really... I get annoyed with people that blast music in their cars. That's a bad play. You might confuse this rock hard foe with a rock. HP is 2, attacks 1, defense is 2. Flames won't scorch this foe. South and explosion near it to flip it over. Then it'll be vulnerable to attack. Or, you know, just jump on it. Dang. Aha! Oh, there's an arrow that says go over here. Make sure you walk all this way, because if you flip back, you get flipped all the way back to the to the through the background. The old signposts. Find ye tall red palm, tree of fortune, and leapeth under its branches ten times. So that's what you need to do. No, I already read you. Okay, I already read you. So that's what you need to do. That's how you find out. You have to jump under the red palm tree ten times. See, but, but also, that works to your advantage the other way, because it's kind of a shortcut if you do if you do it on the way back. This is something interesting. If you're uh, running low on HP and you're, and you're flipped. Okay, so that red tree was back here in this direction. No, there it is. I jumped ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get a door. Okay, can't cross that way. Got more flip things. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing right here is a zombie shroom, I think. Yep. A troll -a roll shroom. Haha, <laughs> I found the sand! Take that troll little shroom. Could of course I'll spike you doing the right there. You can also use Thor to uh, throw him at switches like that, that you can't reach. Because uh, obviously the force of you throwing him has enough force to hit a button. So I don't know how much a pixel weighs, but either way, Mario could be a major league pitcher with that arm. There's a save block. Yes, I would like to save. Go through the door. Grab googly. So you're the lad sticking a stashy in my bus's business. Oh, it's the fat guy. It's the dumb fat guy. You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on you. You, you're one of Count Flex thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chunks is my name. And I'm a no common thug, lass. A thug for the count of counts. Count Black himself. One word for me, Blacky boy, and I come to make you feel some hammage. Hammage? Uh, make that, uh, damage. 
Whatever then, not that it matters a pinch of steward sandstorm. You're a goner. You know what Count Blake is trying to do? Do? The boy is using powers and whatnot to bring back some order to this ear world. An enemy of Black be an enemy of mine. They all get shot. This whole chunk is a lot scarier than the other enemies we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle.